So I wanted to get back out on the bike, get some more footage of me riding. Last time it wasn't so great. Took some photographs of the ground basically because my app wasn't going well. Didn't aim the camera when it was placed. So it wasn't the best footage in the world. So I've been wanting to do that. Also picked up a clamp for the skateboard so I could attach a camera to it and go skating. But being Calgary, well, it's snowing. So instead, I am now going to Princess Auto. I'm going there to pick up some hard cases or take a look at some hard cases. If I don't like the quality of them, I'm probably gonna just go pick up some Pelican cases from Mech. But the plan is, is we need to make the podcast mobile. We need to take care of those microphones, the SMB7s, because they're, they're basically pricey. So we wanna make sure that they're taken care of properly as well as move some of the set equipment, including lights, as well without damaging them and having something where they're cut out so we know we have all the pieces when we basically move away from a location that we are podcasting at. So anyways, off to Princess Auto. It's snowing. And, well, here's today's vlog. So, got the two cases, which will work perfect. This one sticker came off great. This one, not so much. So what we're gonna do is pour some mineral spirits on there. Let that soak in for a bit. And then, we're just gonna peel it off. Do this all the time when there are stickers to take off of motorcycle helmets or goalie masks when I have to paint it. It's a bit of a trick. It'll come off, as you can see, really quite easy now. We just take it a corner of this and it's gonna just peel right up. I mean, a lot, a lot easier than just trying to scrape the whole shit off. And then we can clean that up and it'll be good as new. So the beauty of that is that piece just comes off like that. Big one, big piece. There have been tiny little pieces getting ripped off, try to do it otherwise. Nice and fucking clean. So there you go. Little bit of mineral spirits goes a long way. Like I said, utilize this all the time when I'm airbrushing. Take stickers, decals off, motorcycle tanks off, helmets, you name it. And now that'll just evaporate and it'll be nice and clean. All right, so I'm in the process of getting the Pelican cases ready to take all the microphones and podcast stuff. So I'm basically pulling out the square foam. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that I do. First, I mean, obviously you get the setup that you want. I pull out some extra squares that I, I'm gonna put back in, just using hot glue, just so you know if you do happen to do that. I'm pulling out big chunks, easy to put back in, but if you make a mistake at that point, you're gonna be pulling out even more chunks because the glue will pull out other stuff. But, gonna be using a Stabilo pencil. I use this all the time in airbrushing, marking black surfaces, disappears really easy, easy to hide. It's, it's not waxy, it's not gonna cause any problem with the clear coat, but the nice thing is it should also mark up this foam. So we're gonna use this now because in the cases they had one set of cube foam where you could just pluck it out, pluck and pick. The other parts are solid foam. So I need the microphone specifically to go that much deeper, mainly because they have a wire that's delicate and if that gets damaged then the microphone is in a lot of difficulty. So we're gonna utilize this to trace it out on the foam. Then we're gonna use a bread knife to essentially cut the rest of it out just like you would with uh, insulation. So we're gonna go do that now. So you can see, I've got all the microphone slots roughed in. This is the piece I'm talking about. I want that back in. Just, and this part out to give the cable a little bit of breathing room. That's the H3 
and then I'm just going to glue that back in as well. But essentially, we're going to use this as a template for the process below. So white stabilo not working. So what we're just going to use is a, a silver sharpie to draw those lines into the box. I've also placed the foam back in just to make sure it's relatively thin because these sides are flimsy. I still have to glue those obviously back in. But we just want it close. We're only cutting out the microphones. This is deep enough. We need that to support the H3 up top. So we're just going to basically cut out the microphone slots. We're not going to cut out the H3 slot because we need the support underneath. We've switched to a, a Sharpie pen, silver Sharpie. In order to get it, the Stabilo was not working like I had hoped, but this should definitely work. Get our pattern down and then cut her out. So you can see the pattern's all there. Now I just got to cut that out. I just utilize a utility knife to do that. So you can see we've got the first section of foam. This is the second. This is the third, which is actually quite deep. Then we've got the top, which is also quite thick. So these two will be protective layers and we will sandwich the equipment in between utilizing these. Obviously, like I said, I'm leaving those vacated space because the H3 is not that deep. So it'll just sit kind of in there. I might put some wireless labs up in here or I may stack those. I'm not sure, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Let's get to cutting. So there you have it all cut out. Now in this case, it might actually be too deep, although I don't think so because the wires. But if that was the case, what we would do is with this pluck foam, we would essentially take small strips and then lay them down and then basically build it up. So this pluck foam goes all through the way. It is not cubed. Uh, if you buy some higher end cases like Pelican, they are cubed. So it's, you can actually pull a cube out, cube out, and you can rest your stuff at various levels. Uh, you can also take this stuff and get a laser cut, which is really, really nice. You can get denser foam, all sorts of stuff, but pricey. This is not sort of a flying thing. This is a sort of local thing, so it'll always be me carrying it. It's not baggage handler, so I'm not terribly worried about it but it's gonna really serve its purpose well. And like I said, these cases are about a third of the price. So for what they're gonna accomplish, it is a fantastic deal. And like I said, I may put some wireless lav mics up in there, given some space. So uh, let's throw in a mic and see how it looks. So there you can see microphones in, the cable that I was worried about seats there. Might be really difficult to see it because of the darkness, but basically it curves, works really well. I mean, there might be some play, but like I said, this is just local transport. Fairly happy with how this turned out. It's gonna work really, really well. I mean, essentially when you're transporting, it's going to be like that except we'll actually have it flipped around so the weight of the microphones are at the bottom, not at the top, because the lighter equipment is going up top. So perfect, has worked well, looks good. We're gonna take the labs and we're gonna slot them probably in there. So we're just gonna end stuff here. Cases are working out great. I really, really like them. While I said I wouldn't use them necessarily for traveling long distance with airlines, which still remains true, they are great for moving stuff locally, for local setups. It's good. I have a ton of gear that I need to organize and sort of get in hard cases to get out of the way. It's, it's gonna overall, it's gonna work really, really well. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you again real soon. See ya.